Hey, I am Lisa Argyle, and I am here to talk to you about the Young Living Opportunity, the opportunity to become a brand partner with Young Living Essential Oils. I want to start off by reading to you something that a very good friend of mine, actually a crown diamond in our company, in my upline, uh, wrote recently, and um, I think it fits very well for the beginning of this presentation. Um, if you think Young Living is just another MLM, like the all, all the others, a pyramid scheme, only yet the people at the top make money, probably a scam, just overpriced oils, potpourri, smelly, stinky, run by Satanists who do yoga. I used to do yoga, we weren't Satanists, by the way. Baby killers, Mormons or a cult, um, or any other nonsense that you can find on the internet, you don't know Young Living. What it really is, you wanna know? It's a family owned company. It was started by an old farmer, an old farmer who passed away. His wife and sons still run the business so they can honor his, their dad and his mission. He was a pioneer. Gary Young was a pioneer. He discovered healing properties and aromatic plants. He discovered that he could cultivate small plots of land and grow medicinal plants. He began teaching, trying to show the world what he discovered, the fingerprint of God. The oils began their work. Word began to spread. He would expand to cultivate thousands of acres of land across the world so he could grow these medicinal plants to harvest their oils and meet the needs of the people. The old farmer realized he could not do it on his own. His mission was huge, big, really big. He would need help. He would, help, he would need help to uh, reach the world with his message. He would do his best and it was great. His best was great. But he knew he would need help and he knew for the teaching to go on long after he's gone, many more would have to carry the torch. And so he designed his business to partner with anyone who wanted to help teach and show young living to the world. He would allow them to partner together, partner together for the common good. The message would spread and the people could earn for their efforts to bring the oils to the market. Their beginnings were small, but word spread fast and the testimonies poured in. People loved them, including me. And many people wanted to help spread the word because the oils changed their lives. They can't help but tell others. I know I can't. The numbers exploded, exploded, and the little farmer had a booming business that has reached millions of people across the world. It's touched, he's, it's touched millions of lives and it's done millions in business. This is where we pick up the story today, 30 years into the farmer's journey. He's gone now. We miss him. We miss him a lot. But he's left his mark on us forever, many of us. Our lives will never be the same because of him and his family's mission to bring these oils to the world. This is Young Living. And that was written by Rob Renato, and he's a diamond, like I said, with Young Living Essential Oils. He's in my upline. And, um, and that's basically what this MLM is all about, this Young Living Essential Oils business. So I wanna give you a little intro to Young Living specifically. Um, why choose Young Living? There are many different avenues to go out and find when you're looking for an MLM business to join. Some people call it a side gig, I don't. I call it my job, it's my living, it's my passion, it's my love. Um, there's community. I might be biased, but we really have a supportive team. Flexibility to work on my own schedule, no sales quotas or inventory to have to keep. Uh, unique and often, very often, life-changing uh, lifestyle products for healthy living. We help and serve others. There's a willable income. Get that. You can leave this as a legacy for your family. Personal growth. 
the personal development is unbelievable. We're encouraged to read, listen to videos, on our own time, when we want to, when we're cleaning the house, whenever. Well, very rarely cleaning the house, but you get what I'm saying. Products that we love and we, 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 we use. We truly love them and we use them. There's no cap on the income possibility. No cap. It's a billion dollar company with 25 years plus of history and stability. Get that stability. Not a fly-by-night company coming in, trying to get you in on the ground level, taking off, running for a year or two, and then going out of business, put out of business by the powers that be. It's got an industry high for customers using the subscription option. And that's something that we'll get into later. What can you earn with Young Living? Well, I've got all sorts of figures. I will attach an income disclosure statement from 2022 um, as part of this post. Um, you can have an average income of $248 at a star level, all the way up to Crown Diamond for an average of $1,640,839. Now, is that a promise that you're gonna become a Royal Crown Diamond? No, no. Um, is it a promise that if you share what you know and you put yourself out there and you use the product and you become a product of the product and you tell people about it just like you would tell anybody about a movie you saw or a restaurant you went to or uh, a, a Michael Kors bag that you love and it had the great pockets, uh, new perfume, you share it like that, people are bound to come. They love essential oils. Someone shared it with me just under 10 years ago. They told me about lavender oil, which we call the uh, Swiss Army knife of essential oils. Uh, told me how it could help with my mood. Um, and I said, I want to know more about that. You know, she didn't even talk anything about the income, anything like that, but I wanted to know about the product and that's how I got started. It was only a few months later that they started letting me know just what I could earn by sharing what I love, these products. So most people in Young Living, if they're not customers, they get to a rank of star, senior star, um, and sometimes they just continue on that level and they make a little bit of money maybe to pay for their product um, but the bulk of the, the members in Young Living are at that level and maybe not interested in building a business whatever um, I am not one of those people I I decided that hey if I'm going to enjoy and use these products and share with other people and they want to come on board and, and do the business and make some money for themselves I decided I was going to push further. Um, that brings you into an executive or sil silver letter level leadership. I'm sorry, executive or silver level leadership. Um, average monthly income for an executive is anywhere. It could be anywhere between $320 to $1,400 a month. Now just say, okay, $320 for the month for talking about products that you use and that you love, products that have worked for you and your, your, your children and your animals, that could be a car payment. That could be your monthly, maybe not groceries now a time, now, nowadays, but that could be your electric payment, your, your, your gas payment. That could be uh, a tuition to preschool. Or it could be fun money for the family for the month for a date night and taking the kids to bounce over the weekend. Who, who knows? But that's just the low end. The high end of that average monthly income is 1400 What could you do? For some people, maybe not a lot of people nowadays, that's their rent, or that could be most of their rent payment. For some people, that might even be their mortgage payment or half of their mortgage payment. 
for sharing what you love with other people, for wearing your essential oils, for using your Super B supplements to get your vitamins, for washing your clothing in non-toxic uh, soap, uh, that if your, if your dog happened to lick, lick up off the floor, you wouldn't have to worry about it. You can call poison control and I can guarantee you, they, they'll tell you that the dog would be okay. I, I would stake my name on it. Um, these are real average numbers. I mean, but they're like average, but I know I'm not, you're not average. If you're watching this video, there's a reason you're watching this video. And there's a reason why I stayed with the, with the company to do the business and not just use the product. Um, I know I keep moving around because I have this really cool thing for my phone, but do you love my twinkling vine behind me? Isn't that beautiful? Bought it off of Facebook. Probably when I was sharing one day about Young Living Essential Oils. Um, anyway, uh, as part of the team, I'm going to be biased and say our team, the dream team, uh, you'll have resources at your fingertips, sometimes at the drop of a hat, when you need them, if you, if you see something that you want, or you think of something that you want, you ask your upline, your cross line, which means the people that, that brought you into this company and they're at your fingertips. I mean, it's, it's a fantastic opportunity. Wait, there's more. Our commissions are based on our team's overall group sales volume. This means you leverage your earnings by getting paid commissions on your whole team's efforts, everybody below you, because you played a part in helping them find Young Living. Can you imagine that? Everybody below you, if you brought in the matter of two years, one year, if you brought 50 people in and they were ordering products every month, you could be earning, and maybe some of them aren't, and, and that's very possible, and I have plenty of people underneath me who have ordered and then stopped ordering. I have plenty of people underneath me, plenty, who order and they order every single month because they know the power of the product. They know the power um, and the name Young Living stands up to itself. It's, it's, it stands for more than just a business. It's a, it's, it's a way of life. Your order, your own order, because you will use this product. I do use these products, non-toxic. The supplements have no synthetics in them. Uh, the uh, we, collagen we started uh, the middle of last year. Can you imagine that? A marine type one collagen. Don't even get me started on that. Look at my skin. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we have what's called loyalty rewards. And it's a win-win for the customer you sign up. They get a huge savings. They get loyalty points that they can use to buy product. And they get free gifts. Um, the company benefits, of course, because it builds stability and helps planning with supply and demand. So if they place a loyalty order every month, the company can base their orders for their supplies based on the prior month's order. Makes sense, right? I, I hope I didn't confuse you. And of course, it creates a foundation for residual income for you. In this case, me. What could $500 a month do for you? I know I already spoke about that, but let's say you already have $200,000 in the bank and you can get 3% interest rate uh, return on cash. You can bring in $500 a month. That's an, an additional $6,000 a year. But you need that $200,000 first, wouldn't you? Yeah. Or you could do the Young Living business in your spare time, earn the rank of executive, which brings in an average of $500 a month, and that could give you an additional, I didn't do the math, so I don't know, but a lot more than what you think, a lot more. Okay, how does it work? Well, just like we tell our friends, I tell my friends about my favorite new TV series or 
clothing line or vine on the wall, which I'm not an affiliate. I don't get anything for talking about them. I just loved it and I want actually two or three more for my office here. But anyway, do you tell somebody that you like something? You tell them about it? I have a friend who's making her own maple syrup. I'm telling people about it for her. Not for her. It's because I've had it and I love it. And yes, it helps her. Does she make money? Yes, she makes money off of it. Well, with Young Living, you can make money by telling other people about Young Living products. Um, I don't think I'm awkward or pushy or salesy. Um, I think people who, who know me could probably, would probably uh, say that I'm not, well, they might say I'm awkward because sometimes I can be awkward but pushy or salesy, maybe even the pushy part sometimes, but not about Young Living. <laughs> um, my goal is to point people to solutions that work for them and use my referral link when they go to order. It's as simple as that. Simple as that. A little bit of, little, little bit of boop, boop, boop on my, my phone or my laptop, send them my link. They find the product they love. So, when you start the business with Young Living, instead of just being a customer, it's called being a brand partner. What does a brand partner really do? Is that what you're asking? I bet you were. We work when we want, how much we want to. More importantly, we teach you how to create sustainable success, meaning you'll be working toward two, true time freedom not working yourself into a 24 7 obligation we have something that we call we do not want a 40 40 40. i do not want to work a 40 40 40 anymore i don't want to work 40 hours a week for 40 years at a job where when i retire i only get 40 percent of my pay as retirement why do that when you can have something like young living you grow on your terms and at your own pace. So that time freedom that I just mentioned, mentioned before, it's all about the time that you put in. And I've been at it a few years. I put in a couple of hours a day and it could be split up. Right now, it works for me where I do it first thing in the morning. Um, I actually have another brand partner that I work closely with and we get on Zoom <clears throat> excuse me, and we talk about the day, we talk about this learning center, this essential oils learning center, which you don't have to have, by the way. I just kind of do things a little bit on a grander scale. That's a whole other issue. That's a whole other YouTube video. But um, what we do is we get together and we work as much as we want to, which means we start maybe doing a tiny bit of research, reading online, reading the resources that Young Living gives us, that our upline gives us, and then we we use the product and then we talk about the product on social media or to our friends or to somebody at the line at the salad place down the road. Um, we help customers fill their needs and solutions with our products. It's, it's really as simple as that. We help others see the vision of multi-level earning, social selling, and basically having an online business. We help brand partners connect to resources to help them maximize their time and minimize their learning curves. I'm telling you, people have been there before us who have done a lot of the work for us. So the resources are there. You click a few buttons on the computer. I'm making it sound fairly simple. And it really becomes fairly simple. At first, there's a little bit of a learning curve. You'll need to ask, hey, Lisa, or hey, Laureen, or hey, whoever, whomever, even the diamond, uh, where can I find this, or where can I find this? Typically, it's all in a social media file, in a group that you belong to, because you belong to our group in Young Live. It's, it's as easy as that. The resources are there. So what else does a brand partner do? No, I'm supposed to say, 
What does a brand partner not do? What do we not do? N-O, no. We don't have to stock products in our garage. Praise Jesus. We don't have to carry them in the trunk of our car or in a big, in a big box. We don't have to let the business take over our lives. We don't have to, we're, we're not forced to spend more than what we earn. There's nobody over your head saying, you have to do this, you have to do this. If there's companies out there doing that, giving multi-level marketing a bad name, that's just a bad company. It's like there's a few bad apples, a few bad teachers, a few, a few bad cops, um, a few bad caregivers, a few bad redheads who dye their hair blonde. Whatever I'm saying, you get my drift. Um, we don't send, hey girl, hey girl, hey, messages to people that we don't know. Are we encouraged to go outside our comfort zone and talk to people, maybe people we meet around town or, or at daycare or at yoga class? Yeah, yeah. Um, some people might be better at it than others, but there's encouragement. And again, there's personal development that you can do, take part of, listen to, watch while you're doing your laundry at home, while you're washing the dishes, or with someone on your team, someone else, a cross-line member who, who wants to watch it too. There are ways to learn how to get outside your comfort zone. Also, very big, we don't glorify the hustle culture. Uh, boss babe um yeah i can call myself a boss babe that's fine I'll, I'll use a mug that says boss babe but i'm not running around sweating my you know what off working 12 hours a day at a job that i don't like i love the products i've grown to love the people that i work with see which means that basically see online in a day on a daily basis in the groups that i belong to that 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 share information with me we share information cross line and up line and down line and if you don't know what that means you can message me and i'll tell you what that means but um we guide we're guided and we guide as leaders when we become leaders to set the next person up for sustainable success Okay, you wanna find a purpose. If your heart yearns for a way to give back, to truly serve others and to pave the way for others to join you in changing their own lives, this is the place. My life has changed. Non-toxic alternatives. Can I say that every single thing in my entire household doesn't have a toxic chemical in it? There's no way for me to tell you that. I can't promise you that. But I strive on a daily basis for the food that I put in my body and my family's body to be the best that I can get and that I can afford. The products that I use, oils, hands down, the best, the, the highest of quality, the supplements, the vitamins, the toothpaste, the shampoos, the, the, the dish soap, the, the laundry soap. I, sh I strive on a daily basis to do everything I can to get the most non-toxic things into mine and my family's life. It's just the way, the, the change has been unreal. Um, our team models heart-centered sharing where we strive to put our customers and our team members' needs first and above our own so that they can have success. Um, there's a great speaker, his name is Zig Ziglar, and he said, you will get all you want in life if you help other people get what they want. And that's, <clears throat> excuse me, the gist behind Young Living. We want to help, we want to share. We don't want to keep this to ourselves. We want to let the world, Gary Young's mission, that <clears throat> pioneer, that 
that farmer that we spoke about in Rob's comments in the very beginning that I read to you, his mission was to get essential oils and essential oil inf infused products and supplements into the hands of every household in the world. And, and then some. Our community, again, is made up of like-minded people of all ages, all demographics. We all align with the mission of Young Living, which is helping to bring, like I said, the oils into every home all over the world. You can simply use and, and love the products. You can make it a hobby business and just pay for your products each, each month by sharing and then earning a little money and then buying your own products. Or you can dig in a little bit and make a life-changing income. It could be this, this life-changing or this life-changing or as high as my twinkling vine goes. It's just all up to you. I'm not promising the world. You get in it, you get out of it what you put into it but there are people all around you to help you, help you get to that point. Whatever you choose to do, we're here. You can be a, a, a customer, you can be a brand partner who just sells a little bit to, to pay for your own products every month, or you can shoot for the moon. There's no uh, um, jealousy, like competition. I'll get into that a little bit more after. Um, but basically, there's like eight steps, okay, to, to start sharing. That's what we call it, sharing. We're not pushing this stuff on people. Um, first one is you want to find your why. You want to find out deep down why you want to start doing this. Is it because you want to start a non-toxic life for you and your family? Is it because you want to change your life with some income? or a lot more income or just a little bit of income, it's up to you. I will put a link to the income dis disclosure statement. I might have already mentioned that, I'm not sure. Um, uh, attached somewhere in this, in this post. Um, and it's, it's really good information. And you just might find your why in that income disclosure statement. Or again, your, my, your why just might be living a non-toxic life using plants from sometimes sacred grounds. Um, another way to share is, is, is to actually ditch and switch, we call it, where you look at the products that you use in your home right now and you start to substitute, say, your laundry soap for a Young Living laundry soap, which, by the way, is super concentrated, and for one bottle of Young Living laundry soap, you can actually get three times that amount. You just split it into three and you add water and, and like you need like so little, it's just unbelievable. But I digress. Um, you can switch your toothpaste, uh, your shampoos. Um, I don't know the names of the chemicals in, in the shampoos. I'm not, I'm not an, an, an expert by any means. None of us are. We're not supposed to be experts. I have people um, on my team who love to do research, who love numbers. And I can go to them and ask questions. Um, and, and that's how we do it. So I'm trying to be as compliant with the federal government as possible, but when you go and, and you have a headache or uh, occasional pain in your head and you decide to maybe open a bottle of uh, stress away or maybe peppermint and put a drop on your temples or maybe on the back of your where your skull meets your neck and maybe just maybe that pain will go away or maybe you're having like what feels like a hot flash and you you just like you're out to dinner with your family and, and your mother-in-law is there and you don't want to you don't want to sweat into the lasagna you pop open a little bit of peppermint and put it on the back of your neck. Maybe, just maybe, it might help your hot flash. Just saying. But that's about all I can say right now. You go ahead and you share your experience with other people. And say, hey, I didn't sweat into my lasagna when I was out to dinner with my mother-in-law because I put this 
peppermint on the back of my neck. Can you believe it? Can you believe that's what I did? And your friend might say, or the stranger might say, what did you just put on the back of your neck? Why did you do that? Oh my God, I have hot flashes too. Can you believe it? Where'd you get it? Well, do you get what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? You get social. This is number four. You make a list of maybe 25 people that you would like to connect with. Um, we call them like uh, potentials or prospects or, and you just start cultivating relationships. If you're an outgoing person like I am and like most of the people that I know fairly well, I mean, do we really know everybody we know on Facebook? Not really, but I know a lot of outgoing people and I can reach out to a lot of these people and say, hey, have you ever thought about using this for your, for your baby's uh, sweaty feet or, or your baby's diaper rash or, or you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that we're here to diagnose or treat or cure any diseases or anybody with anything. We're not doctors. None of us are doctors. No, no, I take that back. Actually, some young living professionals are professional doctors, vets, uh, massage therapists. They run the gamut. Um, I think we might even have some dentists in there. Um, but yes, I should say, but no, most of us are not doctors and we can't diagnose or treat or cure anything. But we might have a temporary solution or a, maybe a long-term solution for something that's bothering you. We do not want to tell you that we take the place of your regular physician. That's totally up to you what you choose to do. Um, so after that 25 list of 25 people, Maybe you find like your top five people. Um, you narrow down the loving, young living products that you love the best, that you, that you use the most often. And you tell stories online, on the uh, line of, uh, waiting for the cashier at the grocery store. You tell your story about the product you're using and how it helped you or woo, you can host a class. Big deal, right? We all know, we all used to hear, hear about Tupperware and, and Pampered Chef and, you know, I used to sell Party Light 20 years ago and I would carry this big old box and, and, and wagon of stuff in and out and, and it, it was just, it was ridiculous. It was, it was just ridiculous. Nowadays, we host a class a gathering. I like to call it a gathering because basically that's what it is. You get some people together, give them some water or some tea or some coffee or wine if that's, if that's what you choose. And you talk about the products. And the person who is hosting the class, the person whose house you're at, the person who maybe invited other people to come to their class because they have friends that, that are interested, that person ends up being the enroller of the other people that came to their class. It's really that simple. I enroll somebody, anybody, somebody I met online or knew online or met at the grocery store, they host, they host a class or hold a gathering, they invite some people, those people join, so then that host reaps the benefits of the orders that the people at her class, he, his or her class bring in. Um, and then all you have to do is stay consistent. You keep using the products, try different products. We get free products based on different levels of orders that we have. And, and, and you try these products and you say, hey, what do you use this for? Or, or you can go to Young Living's website and they have member resources and you can find out. We have third party tools, not written by Young Living, but by third party companies. And they've taken Young Living's products and put them in a, what I refer to as an oils Bible. It's basically a, a, a reference guide. You can get it this big or this big or get it on your phone. Um, you can look up different ways to use that lavender oil. <clears throat> or you can look up your 
you know, that, that funny itch on your get along. And, uh, as my grandmother would say, and look up itch on your get along in the reference guide and find out what oil this third party company suggests you use. Chances are young living has it. You might try it and it just might work again, not taking the place of a doctor. If something persists, you definitely want to get it checked out. No way am I saying that you should not use a medical professional. Um, but stay consistent with your sharing. That's basically all you need to do. You share your lifestyle. I share a lot about my lifestyle. I share a lot about being sober for 12 years now. I share a lot about um, being compassionate maybe and, and, and silly jokes. But I also share about the products that I use with, from Young Living, the collagen, the, the digest for my upset stomach, the, gosh, what else do I use? Uh, uh, the probiotics, the Ningxia Red Super Juice, which has tons and tons of antioxidants and, and, and we've got things that change free radicals and I, I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you because I'm not a doctor. But what I'm saying is that these products are the real deal. Young Living goes to extremes to make the products the best that you can possibly get without toxins and then gives you the info and the tools to share with other people who then share with other people who then share with other people. Is that slimy? Is that cultish? cultish? Is that... Uh, 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 risque or, or, or all the other things that we spoke about that I, that I read to you in the very beginning, it doesn't sound like it to me. And it didn't sound like it to me when I started the business or I wouldn't have done it for God's sake, for God's sake, I wouldn't have done it. Um, let me just tell you, I'm going to, I'm going to finish. It's going to be about another five minutes, but I'm going to tell you three reasons why multi-level marketing business is is especially in this economy the way to go and the way a lot of people are going um, but only the people who have the courage to use the product and share about the product and talk about the product and and ask questions are the ones who if they want to build a business can be very successful. It's, it's only those people that are willing, willing to get a little bit outside their comfort zone. Look, this is out my, outside my comfort zone. I'll be real. I don't have any, any problem talking in front of a camera. Nah, if I had the face of like Jennifer Aniston, I'd be all set. I wouldn't have to sit in front of this vine. Are you kidding me? Anyway, back to reasons why MLM is the, is the best, the, in my opinion, and a lot of people's opinion, the best way to go, um, hands down, let alone Young Living being the best company to be with, okay? Um, MLM, it's, it's basically word of mouth marketing, okay? Um, I don't like to call it a side hustle. Some people would call it a side hustle, and maybe at first it would be because you can't quit your job and expect to do Young Living from, for a week and then change your, your, your paycheck overnight. Um, so maybe it is a hot side hustle or a side gig. Um, I just consider it my job, my business. Um, okay, about competition or cooperation. In every other business, the other people in your business field are, com are in competition with you. I was a realtor for about 15 years. I had my license. Everybody, friends or not, you're in competition for the same, for the same listings, for the same buyers, for the same sellers. Uh, like it or not, that's what, that's what you are. Multi-level marketing is structured so that the culture is cooperative. You're part of a big team, and when you win, your team wins, okay? If your team wins, you win. It, it, goes, it goes both ways. Would you rather work in competition or in cooperation? 
I think I know which one I prefer. I do know because that's what I do for a living now. Not a full living yet. I'm not going to say that I, 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 I make thousands of dollars a month because I'm not to that level yet. And I can't talk about it anyway, even if I did. So that's part of the ethics of the company. Um, it's part of the it's part of the contract that you sign when you join Young Living. I'm not going to go around boasting about what I make or what I don't make. It's just it, we give the income disclosure statement and you can decide for yourself what you want to make. Um, a second out of three points I want to make is leverage. 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 It's better to earn 1% from 100 people's efforts rather than 100% of just your own efforts, right? You get it? MLMs, multi-level marketing, allows you to build a team and earn from the success of your team, your organization. It's not just about what you can do, but what your whole team does. And as your team grows, your income grows with it. Why is that considered slimy by some people? I don't know. I don't know. The real estate company I used to work for, the brokers, the head brokers, the owners, they would make the money from the money that I would bring into the company. I would make a little bit and they would make most of it. Hmm. And the third, the third, but probably one of the most important points about multi-level marketing is longevity. You want to build something that lasts. There's nothing, nothing worse. And I can tell you from being in the real estate business for 15 years and the tears that I've shed many, many times, there's nothing worse than working hard to build something just to see it disappear. Um, this company especially, multi-level marketing, the, the, uh, the, the business model itself has been around for a very, very, very long time, decades. It's still the best business model out there. The vast wave of people are looking for additional household income. Many will turn to MLM. If you're partnered with a legacy company, that's 25 years of, or more, proof the product is in demand and not a monetary fad, okay? I guess what I'm trying to say as I'm reading the paper in front of me, and I'm not doing a very good job is this company has been in business for over 25 years and the proof of that stability comes from the products and the people ordering and then ordering again and then ordering again and the quality and the consistency of that quality which is a whole other seed to seal conversation we could have at another time um, there's great opportunity to build a team that produces recurring revenue for you. That's money coming in from happy customers and brand partners, month after month after month. That's the kind of income you're really looking for. It recurs over decades and it grows along with your growing organization. It's earned because a group of happy customers and brand partners are happily using and sharing with other people the life-changing products that they've found. That's about what I have to share about Young Living's business opportunity. And if you have any questions, you can send me an email. My email is lisa at lisaargyle.com. It's argyle like the socks. Um, you can go to lisaargyle.com and check out my website. And, um, or you can uh, send me a private message and um, I'll, I'll be happy to answer any questions for you. All right. I hope you enjoy this information and uh, maybe I look forward to working with you soon. Have a great day.